All right, Shalom. <clears throat> First off, I would like to give our glory, honor, and infinite praises unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha HaKodash. Double honors to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone that teach and rule well. And peace, love, salutations to the hopeful elect. <clears throat> Shalom. I'm the brother Ha'amayan from the Great Millstone, Columbia, Georgia Church. And Nabaradazad is being edifying lesson. And um, uh, you can watch, like, subscribe to this um, this brother page, GMS Rebuke the Temper. Uh, it says, labors are few. Ask yourselves, are you the few? And and this and the brother from my account, Columbia, Georgia, Great Mr. on Columbia, Georgia, dropped this video in the chat, you know, and I watched it and it inspired me to make a lesson through the spirit and power how by Shemal Shah. And I got a few precepts um queued up. You know, I ain't planning on making it long. I'm gonna play a few seconds of this video and um get right to the point, man. Lord willing this be edifying, man, because we do have work to do and the Lord gave us a standard, Proverbs 8 and 4, unto you men I have called my voices to the sons of men. It's get ignored. Please. So that's what you're going to reap, small quantities, right? You're not going to reap bountifully for a man that's constantly and consistently doing this thing, right? And don't be mad when certain prayers don't get answered, right? When certain prayers get ignored, because remember, remember you, what you showed to the Lord, right? Remember that, Lord, I had to do this. So guess what? When it's your turn, <laughs> Lord, can you do this for me? Oh, yeah, uh, I'm taking care of this brother. I'm taking care of this sister. Remember that. Remember that. That's something to think about when you go months or weeks without doing the work that is something to think about and that's scary man that that moved me man because <clears throat> it's people that's doing it it's men that's doing that but me as a young babe in his truth trying my best through the spirit and power to have our smile shot to the best of our ability man to behave wisely um let me get straight to it this is luke chapter luke chapter um uh, well since i quoted proverbs i'm gonna bring out proverbs 8 and verse 4 it says, unto you men, <clears throat> unto you, O men, I call. And it says, my voice is to the sons of man. See? So <clears throat> we have a job to do, man. Lord called us to, he commanded us to hit the highways and byways and preach, man. You know, warn the people. Warn Israel, so-called Negro, Latino, Native American, Indians, a hey, Get yourself right. A uh, set yourself, set your house in order. You know, do all you can, man. You know, tell the nations their judgment. You know, because we know what's coming down the pipe. And guess what? We want salvation. You know, we, it's things we have to change, man, to the best of our ability. Especially the things you know you can change. You know, but um, let's get Luke <clears throat> chapter nineteen and verse thirteen. And he called his ten servants and delivered them ten pounds and, and said unto them, Occupy till I come. Now let's get this word occupy and see what it goes into. Strong's G 4231. Pragmatuamai. Pragmatuamai. Okay, Pragmatuamai. It says to be occupied in anything, to carry on a business. See? And guess what it says down here in the scrums? To busy oneself with. And guess what? We're supposed to be occupied in this truth, man. To busy ourselves with this and this work, man. You know? What Jake said in the world, man. Lock in and rock out. How much more through the spirit? You know, laboring, man. Laboring. Really putting this work in. Whatever your measure may be. You know? And me, once again, as a babe, hey, <laughs> hey we, I fear the Lord, man. And I don't want no parts of his judgment, you know. Hey, we're gonna, we gonna we we gotta get this work in. We gotta get this work in, cause we see what's going on, man. You, you don't want to look back and, and 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 go back to vomit. You don't you don't want to go back. Matter of fact, let's grab that quick precept. Uh, uh, wanderer. Let's see if it goes into that. 
Um, yep. Uh, let's go to Proverbs 21 and 16. The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding this truth, this truth, man, shall remain in the congregation of the dead and is not two-thirds docile. These people are docile, man. You know what I mean? The people out here are docile. They don't know. They don't understand. Why? Because Yahabashimah Shai hasn't gave them the Rahakwadash, the Holy Spirit. Them angels got them, they mind blocked. And the Lord is not a respect the person. He can um he can remove his spirit from you, man. <clears throat> That's why we, 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 we say this right here with, with King David. The the, the uh, Psalms fifty one and eleven. Cash Psalms fifty one and eleven, cast me not away from thy presence and take not thy Holy Spirit from me, man. Because in order for you to do this work and push this truth a hundred percent truth, this doctrine goes into teachings, you have to have the Rakakwadash. You know, the Lord got to be separate with you, man. If not, you're going to be spewing out madness. You ain't going to be on fire. You're going to be lukewarm. Like, like the elder was saying, you're going to be uh, months and weeks without doing the work. And the Lord watching that, man. That ain't laboring, you know? Okay. Um, next precept, uh, Proverbs. Proverbs chapter 8 and verse 34. It says, blessed is the man that heareth me watching daily at my gates, waiting at the posts of my doors. See? Constantly being involved, locked in every day. And, and it's like that you got men, you got uh, especially the apostles and elders, who we truly believe are the, the, the leaders of Israel, Yasha Allah. They, they, they make vi multiple videos a day. They make video. Hey, hey, the apostles are pushing out that word daily, and that inspire us to do this work, man. That's why Acts fourteen twenty two say we're confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith. You got work to do, man. And I got that precept queued up, but I'm gonna just go and grab it real quick. Um, Matthew. I'm gonna go in order. I will end it off with that. But let's get Ecclesiastes. So lucky. Ecclesiastes chapter 9 and verse 10. It says, Whatsoever thy find of to do, do it with thy might. Go all the way out with it, man. Give it your all. You know, be locked in. That's why um quick precept came to mind. Um bear with me. Sirach 39 and 1. What it says. <clears throat> but he that give of his mind to the law of the Most High and is occupied in the meditation thereof will seek out the wisdom of all the ancient and be occupied in prophecies. Let's scripture say what the testimony of Yahweh Shah is the spirit of prophecy. Man. And you'll be laboring, pushing this work out, you know, going over a this, 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 this a push, preaching this new song. Pushing the doctrine of Yahweh Bashamah Shah, teaching, man. You'll be teaching. And could also considering it for yourself. That's why the scriptures say in Haggai, uh, what's that? Haggai 1 and 5. Yep. Now therefore says the Lord, Yahweh of hosts, meaning armies, consider your ways. Because we're being wise. We want salvation. You know? And we gotta have faith. And by your hey, let's get that. Um, what's that, James? Bear with me. Uh, Oh, yeah. Yep, yep. James chapter 2, verse 18. Yea, a man say, thou hast faith, and I have works. <clears throat> it says, let me start at 17. Even so, faith, if it have not works, is dead being alone. Even so, faith, if it have not works, is dead being alone. Yea, a man say, thou hast faith, and I have works. Shew me thy faith without thy works, and I will shew thee my faith by my works. Because that's how you're showing your faith, pushing his truth, and, 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 and sincerity and in truth, man. 
being sincere with this thing. That's the a beloved apostles tell us to be, like the scriptures say. Um, what we got? Let's go to Proverbs 16. Proverbs 16 and 3. It says, Commit thy works unto the Lord, Yahweh, and thy thoughts shall be established, man. Your actions. Like in the NLT, it says, Commit your actions to the Lord, and your plans will succeed. But guess what? You got to be occupied in this truth, man. You got to be occupied. You got to be sincere, like the like the, like the like the beloved brother, the head of our account. I rock. I always push brothers to do that, man. Be sincere in this thing. That's how you know it won't. Be, you you'll have that fire for it. You you'll be fervent with it. It won't become boring. It won't become like a. Oh, uh, we got no, no. You'll love to do this, man. But guess what? It come with prayer. You got to pray. And I'm speaking to myself, man. You can hey, pray without ceasing, as the scriptures say. Cause you don't want your your the Lord to re- remove the Rechakwadash, His Holy Spirit from you, man. You then you then then Satan gonna have his way with you. Think about it. We are already battling spiritual wickedness in high places, but we have a matter of fact. Let's just grab that real quick. Ephesians chapter six verse ten. It says, "Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of His might." See, so if you fall out or you just get you, you just don't want to continue in the faith. Think about it. The scripture say, "Be strong in the Lord and the power of His might." So the Lord removed that that His His Holy Spirit from you. You have no protection, no covering, no strength. You're gonna be in the congregation of the dead. It says, "Put on the whole armor of the Most High, that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil." It says, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places, man. Spirits. So if you ain't got the Rakaqa Dash to help battle, because you're giving your battle, that, that, that burden, that battle back to the Lord, you're rebuking it. If, if the Lord ain't dealing with you no more, hey, Satan going to have his way with you. That's why it's important to be labor and sincerity and in truth, man. Um... We're in a lesson off with uh, Alvarado Zadi be edifying to somebody out there. Matthew 24 and 13. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. <clears throat> I want to say the Hebrew word for endure is um, Yahal. Um, it says to remain, uh, to persevere under misfortunes and trials, to hold fast to one faith. And Hamashiach, man, to endure, bear bravely and calmly, you know, to make hard, as it goes into in the blue, blue letter, man, to make hard, man. And let's just prove that real quick. And I'll close it out. It says to undergo or suffer. See? To make hard, man. That's why the scripture say, gird up. The Lord told us to gird up, man. So I'm about to say this was edifying. Let's do somebody out there. Um, Lord willing, I would like to give all glory, honor, and infinite praises unto our power, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rachah HaKodash, and double honors to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone, the teacher who will. Peace, Lord, citations to the hopeful elect. Shalom.